In the news since Friday, March the 11th, Japan, who had an earthquake, the estimated death toll from Japan disastrous climb passed over 10,000 this Sunday as authorities raced to combat the threat of multiple nuclear reactors meltdowns and hundreds of thousands of people struggled to find food and water. The prime minister said it was the nation's worst crisis since World War II. The nuclear plant's operators worked frantically to try to keep the temperatures down and several reactors crippled by the earthquake and Tsami wrecking at least two by dumping sea watchers into the last ditch efforts to avoid meltdowns. Officials warned of a second explosion but said it would not pose a health threat. Near freezing temperatures compounded the miseries of survivors along hundreds of miles of the northeastern coast battered by the Tsami that smashed inland with breaking Fury. Rescuers pulled bodies from mud covered jumbles, wrecked houses, shattered tree trunks, twisted cars, and tangled power lines while survivors examined the ruined remains. One rare bit of good news was that the rescuers of a 60 year old man swept away by the Tusami could clung, who clung to the roof of a house for two days until a military vessel spotted him waving a red cloth for about 10 miles offshore. The death toll surged because of a report from Miyagi, one of the three hardest hit states. The police chief told disaster relief officials that more than 10,000 people were killed the Associated Press. There was an estimated over 400 people that have been confirmed dead in Miyagi and has a population over 2.3 million. According to the officials, more than 1,800 people were confirmed dead, including 200 people whose bodies were found Sunday along the coast and more than 1,400 were missing on Friday's disasters. Another 1,900 were injured. But these are not the official statistics. They're basically saying that, that there are more and they're still waiting on account for Japan, one of the world's largest economies and ultra modern in fractures and disasters plunged ordinary life into nearly unimaginable deprivations. Hundreds of thousands of hungry survivors huddled in darkened emergency centers that were cut off from rescuers, aid and electricity. At least 1.4 million households had gone without water since the quake struck, and some 1.9 million households were without electricity. While the government doubled the number of soldiers deployed in the aid effort to 100,000 and sent 120,000 blankets, 120,000 bottles of water, and 29,000 gallons of gasoline plus food to the affected areas, Prime Minister said the electricity would take days to restore. In the meantime, he said the electricity would be rationed with rolling blackouts of several cities, including Tokyo. This is Japan's most severe crisis since the war ended 65 years ago, that the reporters were told, adding that Japan's future would be decided by its response. And this is your news from Street Noise Radio. This is Street Noise Radio. This is Miss Baby Girl of Back to Back Jams um, for Fridays from 9 to 10 p.m. But also in the news, I don't know if you guys remember me talking about something that happened in Atlanta, Georgia, back in February 2011 of a bus driver who basically discriminated against a lady who was blind with a disability. Well, we did get the pictures back. We did post the pictures. So um, we are still getting the f uh, public feedback on his behavior, telling the blind lady basically um, that he wasn't going to give her any information about what bus he was going uh, on, or what bus number it was or which way he was going. He told her to look at the bus. And even when she explained that she was blind and other people were telling him that she's blind, he said basically that's her problem, not his. Well, we did get the pictures back. And we was at the scene of Forsyth in Alabama that same particular day when this bus driver basically made these remarks to the lady that was sitting at the bus stop waiting for a bus that was going in her direction. But once again, we did post his pictures. We did get his pictures back. And once again, this is Street Noise Radio.